What is up YouTube? We are back with another lesson today. Today we're going over Don't Let Me Down by No Doubt. So this one's in standard tuning yet again. I think every No Doubt song is in standard tuning. But yeah, let's just get right into it. So you start off with this power chord off the third fret. This is the intro section and part of the verse. <laughs> Sorry, I messed that up a little bit, but it's um three on the A power chord, then the five, then an A, then the first fret E. And then when the verse kicks in, that's the intro, when the verse kicks in is... So it basically trades back and forth with the verse with the two different endings. So the first one is, then after that you go straight to the first fret E, then to the A, then fifth fret. And then the second one is the same as the intro. And then there's like that, I guess it's like, I guess you call it the pre-course, but it doesn't actually go to the course after that. It goes back to the verse for a little longer, and that's... Basically just the intro. It's literally the intro and part of that verse section that we did. And then after that, it goes back into that same verse again, played the same, that same pre-course section, and that takes you into the chorus, which sounds like this. back into the verse but the course is basically just the same chords from the intro i mean verse but they're strummed you just play that first verse that first verse chord uh, ver first verse riff my bad the whole time through it's not this you don't add the second one it's just the first and then it's back into the verse same verse same pre-chorus except after this chorus is extended a little longer i'm pretty sure and then after that the bridge section kicks in and then that takes you into the solo so i'll play through that real quick and i'll show you how to play So some pretty easy stuff, honestly. Nothing too crazy. So it starts off with this 10 on the B, then hammer on to 12, then hit 13, then 10 on the E, then 13 on the B, then 10 on the B. Then you do this next riff, which is 13, 15, then 12 on the E, then 13, then 12, then 15, then 10, 12 on the B. So, and then it's back to the 13, then 12, 13, 12, 10. Then it's back to that 13, 15, 12, 13, 12, 15, 10, 12, 
and then that takes you into the solo section, which is really easy. That is um eight on the E and B, and then nine on the G. Then you do kind of opposite direction. You're doing ten on the B and G, and then nine on the D. Then you do the same thing again. Then you hit 12 on the A. Then you do it again to that point, and then that's when this section kicks in. And that is just 9. Hammer on to 10 on the G. Off, back off to 9. And then you hit 9 again, slide it down to 7, then 5. And then you get your octaves going third fret octave on the a which is if you don't know what an octave is it's um basically a power chord but instead of putting your finger on the second string over on your on the next string it would go down to the so say we're on the a and your pinky would be on the d put it on the g instead of the fifth fret and then mute the d with your um a third fret a so it's three on the A, and then five on the G. And then up to five, then seven, and then you hit a D. And then it's back into the chorus after that. And then the chorus is extended a good bit. I think it's like the longest chorus. And then afterwards, it's just that, don't let me down. It's that's just a... It's just the same as the chorus, nothing different there. So yeah, that's it for the song. And if you enjoyed, please consider liking and subscribing. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.